Matchdate.com aims to set itself apart from other online dating sites by helping singles connect quicker. Members meet during three-minute online speed dates. Conversations are conducted through IM or webcam. After the introductory chat, daters are allowed to continue talking if both vote there is chemistry. Los Angeles locals Brian Frank and Lindsey Bringle sat down to explore this interactive dating experience. Brian tried out speed date between his graduate classes at the University of Southern California. I don't have time for anything right now. I think about the only way that I could possibly do online dating, or any dating right now, is if I can fit in in about 30 seconds. Brian's first few dates ended quickly. She left the date. <laughs> is this because women are shallow? I mean, what, what, am I, what am I seeing here? But Brian eventually went on a genuine online speed date with JD Puff and stuff from Los Angeles. She didn't vote to continue IMing with Brian after their speed date. Yet he still enjoyed his experience with the site. I like the idea that it's efficient. I will say, I don't know what the heck you can possibly say in um, three minutes, especially with instant message. Meanwhile, Lindsay logged on to speed date after work while in her sweatsuit. I've been single for about a year now, and I'm a very busy professional woman, so it's very hard for me to meet men that meet my specific qualifications. So I think this might be an easy way for me to meet someone. The 25-year-old editor went on her first speed date with a 38-year-old from Florida. Are you going to come to Los Angeles to visit me? Maybe. Oh, no. <laughs> Next up was a 37-year-old from New Jersey and then a 19-year-old from Texas. You're in the Army. That's fantastic. Have you been to Iraq? No, not yet. Are you going soon? Oh, my God. Overall, Lindsay liked that the site was easy to use and let her talk with singles right away. However, she was frustrated that not all had webcams like she did. So it's like a little awkward if they can see and hear you, but you can't see and hear them. She also wished the site had set her up on speed dates with men in her area. I'm not really going to probably ever date somebody who's 38 and lives in Florida. Like, I want somebody a little bit more local. Relationship psychotherapist Bill Miller also has his doubts about whether online speed dating really works. You can kind of relax, uh, you know, in your skivvies on your couch and get a sense that you're actually participating in the dating game. I don't know how real that is. You don't get a sense of the chemistry. The site has hosted more than 30 million online speed dates, and some members have even gotten married. To learn more about the site, visit www.speeddate.com.